Greetings everyone. Today we're gonna be deep diving into the agricultural sciences, grade 10, term three, scope. Within the first week, you are gonna be learning about the weathering of rocks. The concept weathering of rocks, the importance of the weathering of rocks, the weathering factors important in soil formation. In the second week, you're gonna learn about the soil forming factors. The description of the following main soil forming factors can be geographical, topographical factors, climatic factors, organisms, biological factors that influence soil formation, the human activities that can have a direct impact on soil formation, parent materials, and time. Within week three, there'll be soil forming processes Soil forming processes that are active in soil, mineralization, humidification, leaching, luviation, plinta formation, inversion, and bioturbation. Within week four, there will be study of animal, animal studies, development and domestication of farm animals, the general economic importance of the livestock industry in SA, the basic differences between ruminants and non-ruminants of ruminants and non-ruminants cattle, beef, cattle breeds. Week five, we learn about the cattle breeds, dairy cattle breeds, dual purpose cattle breeds, two examples of each. Within week six, we are gonna be learning about the sheep breeds and the goat breeds. The main groups of sheep breeds of their utilization, general characteristics of a of a functional ram and e wool breed, dual purpose sheep breeds, mutton breeds, pelt breeds. Classification of the following main goat breeds based on their utilization: milk or dairy breeds, meat breeds, mohair breeds, two examples of each. Week seven. We are going to learn about the pig breeds. Classification of the main group of pig breeds based on their production and the differences between indigenous and improved breeds, pork breeds, bacon breeds, two examples of each. On week eight, we learn about the poultry breeds. Classification of the main types of poultry and the differences between the main chicken, fowl breeds, SA indigenous breeds, dual purpose breeds or heavy breeds, light breeds and ornamental or pedigree breeds according to the following types of production, broiler production and egg production, basic requirements for successful production. Within week nine, we are gonna deep dive into the horse breeds or the game and the game animals. Classification of the main horse breeds based on their purposes, warm blood, and cold-blooded horses, riding, light horse breeds, jawed horse breeds. Classification of the main game animal based on their purposes, importance of game farming. Week 10 to 11 will be revision and test. Test 5 will be provided for, which will be 100 marks, and the examination of the Grade 10 agricultural science will be over 100 and hopefully within everything that will be covered within the scope, you are able to succeed and go through.